A kid breaks all his toys and what his dad does next is shocking. Before we get started with today's video, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos in the near future. And if you comment down below, I will try my best to reply to every single y'all comments as best as I can. So let's get started. Hey Maria, I'm really busy right now. What's up? Hey, I was just wondering what time you're gonna be done with work. Caleb got all A's on his report card, and I thought it would be fun to go out and celebrate. Well, I didn't know that they gave a report card to fifth graders. Well, Richard, he's in sixth grade. He just started middle school. All right, well, you know, uh, I don't know, probably going to get done around 11. Midnight's the latest? Midnight? Do you plan on spending any time at home this week? Mm, well, at midnight, honey, I will be asleep. I will be asleep. So don't try coming in making no loud noise. I mean... Yeah, they, I mean, well, yes, they do. They hand out stuff. Well, they do hand out report cards to sixth graders. So, I mean, yeah, they do. I mean, they don't really do it right now for me because I'm in eighth grade and I'm about to go to ninth grade. But, I mean, they do hand out report cards. So, in paper, so. Or you can check on your uh, school website about it but yeah do you just plan on coming? so don't come be so if i was there don't be coming home with no loud noise shaking the toolbox nothing like that maria it has been so crazy around here you know that four people just got laid off oh my goodness you know i'm really starting to get worried no it's gonna be fine they're not gonna get rid of somebody like me well can you at least congratulate caleb over the phone sure here it's your dad hi dad uh, I got uh, all these on my report card. You did? That's fantastic. Hey, buddy. Look, I gotta go, all right? Okay. Hey, what's up, bro? Can we go to my office? I need to talk to you. Sure. Is Dad gonna be home soon? I'm gonna show him my report card. He's just been working. Dad! Look! Don't he look too old to be playing video? Don't he look? He, he looks way too. He looks older than me. What's well, because it's probably because of my height. But again, I mean, how is he? Why is he doing this with his plane at age of probably can be eleven years old? I mean, some of like I mean, you're still a child before thirteen years old. When you're third, when you're like somewhere around twelve, you're a preteen. I mean, that's how that. I mean, that's technically how it works. But he came home. That could be nine o'clock. Wow. Good job, bud. You're home early. Yeah, well, not by choice. What does that mean? They uh let me go. Um, no, 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 no. He got fired. He got fired. So what is he going to do now? So what happens if your bills has to be paid tomorrow? What are you going to do? I mean, they're just going to come to your house and say that rent is past due. Well, I'm going to say, hey, I lost my job. That's what I would say. But honestly... I don't really, I mean, he is a builder, right? He can just go to another company and get a job, tell him that he has good experience, he will be going back to work. They can't do that, right? Honey, you've worked for that company for over 20 years. Well, they did. And they shut the whole factory down. I don't know what we're going to do. We... We're going to be fine. Okay, we're going to figure something out. Uh, but we've got some money in savings, and I can always pick up extra ships at the salon. Yeah, well then, who's going to watch Caleb? You can. You're going to be home. 
Yeah, that'll be awesome. I'm gonna make you a plate. And the reason why she said that he's gonna be at home is because since he doesn't have nothing to do, he won't be at work so he can watch him all day because she'll be working at the salon he will be at home I, that's how it works one of y'all have to stay home two of y'all can't be out and let him stay home by himself oh yeah i can't watch the boy all right i want to be out looking for jobs okay all of that is done at home now most interviews are done online I can't do that kind of stuff. I don't know how the online thing works. Well, now that you're going to be home more often, maybe you could learn. I doubt it. God, just the thought of me looking for a job, man. It stressed me out. I mean, the last interview that I went on, I don't even think they had computers. Okay. Well, what if, what if you didn't have to interview? What if you started your own business? I mean, come on. Okay, come on. Look, we talked about it. All the time when we were first married. Maybe now is your chance. Okay, well, to get on a business, you would have to go through specific procedures about doing that. First, you would have to look up online about what kind of business you can start. You have to look up ideas. That's step one. We have to look up ideas about that. Step two is creating it creating the business and making it public so people can see or you can do flyers oh yeah we're hiring on this type of business and step three we are done with step two step one was creating the business step two no step one was getting ideas Step two was making it public or letting go all over the city like, hey, I'm doing this and I'm doing this. Y'all can hire. Okay, I'm hiring. Okay, step three. We're done with step two. Step three. Here's step three. Step three is where you have to hire and wait for people to come rolling in. Step four, it's going to take a while for your business to be booming. It can take three, four, six, seven years for that business to be booming. Step five, you're successful. Boom. Those are five steps. I mean, I helped him out. I mean, hey. I mean, I don't really have a business on my own. So, well, honestly, this is half of my job right here. I mean, this is my job. I mean, YouTube is my job. I can't start a business. I mean, what am I going to sell? Well, I don't know. Well, you can make anything with your hands. Maybe you could build something and sell it, like furniture or something. Times have changed, Marie. Everything's run by machines now. The, all the factories are all automated. They need somebody to understand the technology. I, I need a new career. I need a new job. And you will find one. Hey, hey, you will find one. Okay? Go. faith in you. It's like my mom says, when things feel like they're falling apart, they may actually be falling into place. Well, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Well, in the meantime, since you're home, you can spend some time with your son. What are we supposed to do together? <laughs> mm, I don't know. Y'all can play video games. Y'all can go to the park. Go to the ice cream place. I don't know. Build a pool in the backyard and y'all can get in it. I don't know. I mean, he'll be looking out looking for jobs. He can go upstairs and do whatever he wants. Y'all both can be minding y'all's business. I mean, I don't know about, I mean, I don't know about my name, business. I mean, he'll be out doing the interview, well, online. His son will be playing he has his summer to himself i mean that's what i'll be doing sitting home by myself and i'll be eating some popcorn i don't 
don't know. I think you'll figure it out. Come on, Caleb. I'm a little busy right now. What are you doing? Playing computer games? No. I'm looking for a new job so I can go back to work. I don't get it. Why do you want to work so much? I don't want to work. I have to work. It's part of my responsibilities. Well, I kind of hope that you don't find a job. And why is that? Because I like having you here with me. Oh no! My plane! I mean... Honestly... I mean... Some people are not really that annoying. Not really. Actually, some people are actually really, really nice now. But I mean, when you're out looking for a job, some people, some people can really mess up your interview. I mean, some people can cause your interview to go bad. It can be the Wi-Fi. It can be noises all over the house. You never know. But anyways, y'all, that is all for today's video. Sorry I cannot do the whole entire video. There will be a part two on that. So stay tuned for that. And thank you, YouTube, for actually saying that I have two hours of watch time. Because I found it on my... While I was uploading my last video, I saw that I got two hours of watch time. People recommending my content. So thank you, YouTube. I appreciate it so much and honestly I really like YouTube so thank you YouTube and I love y'all so much and make sure y'all y'all can uh, follow me on Instagram at kindboy12 and you can sub and you can uh, follow me on Twitter at kind with an exclamation point and YouTube you can subscribe here and make sure you comment down below saying what is your favorite video of Darman and I will reply to all those videos. Well, technically comments. And I will see y'all next time, guys. Goodbye.